This morning, the nation's largest group of pediatricians says many of our kids need to start school later in the morning. The new report by the American Academy of Pediatrics points out that middle and high school students who don't get enough sleep can suffer physical and mental health problems. Their studies, it says, can suffer too. Dr. Carol Ash is Director of Sleep Medicine at Meridian Health. That's in New Jersey. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Carol Same Ash. Here, yeah. Well, instead of saying starting school later, why don't you say to kids, hey, go to bed earlier? Do you know, Gail, this is a real problem. I mean, it's a serious epidemic amongst our kids. Their physiology is different. They really have a challenge trying to go to bed earlier. So we have to be mindful of that and, and do what we can to facilitate getting them to bed. So going to bed early wouldn't work when you say their physiology is different. What do you mean? Well, what happens is adults, after prolonged hours of wakefulness, our brain will start to slow us down so that we'll get into bed at a certain hour. That system in them is slower, mm -hmm. so they tend to have a delayed time to bed naturally. Mm -hmm. So they respond differently to, to us too, also in terms of the sleep loss. That's another physiologic issue that they mm -hmm. have. And they need more sleep. So those three things. The well, as, a, as a parent of two teenagers, mm -hmm. I can tell you the dilemma is you can't get them to go to bed and then you can't yes. get them to wake up. Yes. But, <laughs> But um, but yeah, one of the things you suggest, and I and I and I know it's true because I've seen it happen, is imposing a technology curfew. Yes, absolutely. You know, we used to say, "Where are your kids?" You know, they're worried about them being out in the neighborhood. Nowadays, the electronics they're socially connected, so they're texting till all hours of the night, and those electronics will keep the brain engaged as well as the light can can limit the release of melatonin that helps you transition into sleep. So the electronics are a problem, so you want to get them out of the bedroom if you can. And I know we see it over here around the corner. They're lining up at Starbucks. <laughs> like, there are teenagers mm -hmm. ordering, you know, grande macchiatos and the whole bit. And the caffeine is a problem, too, because actually it becomes a circle. They take the caffeine in the morning, that disrupts sleep. The caffeine leads to risk-taking behavior, mm -hmm. and it also can cause problems with addiction of other things. So how much do they need? How well, much they need, do they well, need? Usually the school aid kids, they need nine to ten hours of sleep. Whoa. And Gail, when they're not getting it, it causes problems. Not only with their school performance, but we've shown health risks. Obesity, depression, anxiety, drowsy driving, and the caffeine. They'll, they'll drink caffeine more. Thank you, Dr. Cross. You're I think welcome. we can all agree. We all need more sleep, right? Yes. <laughs> Across the board. Here.